Hey, this is Web Suspect, and today I'm going to show you how to add a stock ticker to your page. Last night I was looking at my iPod, and when you go to the stock page or the stock widget on iPod, it automatically um, starts giving you stock quotes for Google and Apple. I thought, wouldn't this be a good thing to just add to any company's website? Because I really I like to see how Apple stock and Google stock is doing, even though I can't afford to buy any. And I also decided today I have a cold, so I'm only going to talk like Christopher Green from AMTV. So you'll just sound really excited and happy and smiling a lot while I make this video. <clears throat> Wouldn't you like to add a widget to your web page to show how your company's stock is doing? I went through some, some of the top 10 searches for stock widgets, and I found Finance Yahoo. It took me a while to find something that I really trusted. Once you click on there... There's a button up here in the right-hand column that says Start Now. Add financial content to your website. It's free! Hey, don't we all just like free? And there's just tons of stuff down here to read. You know, even if you read really fast, it's like... <clears throat> all right, so we're going to click Start Now, and there's three different formats. So the One format will give you the top news articles for your company. If you already have a website and you're posting your top ten articles, you might not need this, but it's kind of interesting. Then there's a short end and there's a high end. Also, the options are to give you multiple stocks and compare how they're all doing and which ones are going up and which ones are going down. Let's click on the middle one. Here you can add up to 10 stocks. I've added Tesla, and the model I made just shows the Tesla stock right here. You can also adjust the widget size. Right here, 300 pixels, 250 pixels, and you can enter as I said 10 stocks so we could put in Apple we could put in Amazon and we could put in Google if I knew how to spell Google and we could put in GM next thing we're gonna do is click how long we want to chart the range for I like about a year a year goes a good inv indication of how stocks doing you can also go five years or max years. You can also do a purple and white design like this that looks good on a white page or a darker design that looks good on a black page. At the bottom, click I agree to the terms of service. Sign over your uh, firstborn child and all your financial data. I have no idea what that is. Then you're going to click get code. The code will be generated here. You're going to make a macro. To make a macro, you're just going to highlight all the data that the script is encoded in. And you're going to right-click and select Copy. Then over here, there's a button to make generate HTML code in your WYSIWYG. Now, you might have some different um, option to generate code in your WYSIWYG. Here, it's a gear setting, and that opens up the code. You're going to select all this, whatever it is, and you're going to paste your new code right in. There's the paste button right there. Now, I already have this coded. I don't want to change it. I just have the Tesla stock in there for the website, gigasolarpower.com. And you're going to click Save. I'm going to click Cancel because I already saved it before. Now, your, your uh, widget may not show up in your WYSIWYG. Um, just by chance, I put the data in. And I saved it and published it. And this is what it looks like here. The only thing I had to do to adjust it was to move the, um, the object area up a tiny bit. So that it would sit level with the other videos. And that's how you add a stock market widget to your web page. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please leave a comment below.